I am now starting the stream. Uh, one problem is though, let's see if the audio on my stream is working. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just turn it on. Yeah, it's working. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can uh, you can hear me just fine then, because it's yeah. been recording and it's been uh fine when I do my test recordings, but then when I actually like go to post it or publish it or whatever, like like after stream, like before t before stream testing is fine. Uh, after I go and stream, however, then it's like, oh, I didn't have audio. And it happened like twice now, so I was a little sad. That's strange. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can I can hear you on the on the screen. All right, then I'm sure it's fine. Maybe he's not seeing it. Is that a, is that a thing that can even happen? Just uh, the audio doesn't get. Maybe, but, you can still hear but it. It, it was more of the um. The recording input device was set to like my speakers and not my earphones. That makes sense. Or it was the default audio instead of the um, the mic audio. Mm. <clears throat> and sometimes when you when you turn on your mic and turn off your mic, or on your speakers, off your speakers, then um, I guess it, it has trouble switching it, switching between the two, and keeping the being able to record the audio. Okay, so you're talking about the um, the couple like these, right? This is what you're, is what you're referring. Yeah, to. and then and then those uh those other ones that are, yeah, I didn't put a whole lot of time into those, sure. but no, uh, but just the idea. Yeah, just okay. like <clears throat> um, let's see, and I'm trying to think, do we need anything else up here? For me to be looking at? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll look at the uh, I'll go back and I'll look at the original. Temple notes that I sent over. How about that? Just, just for way of the front view. Um, and you said that you're having trouble with the top view. Is that, is that what you? Yeah, saying? I figured it out a little bit, but um, oh. they Are could we probably focusing see... on this one. Sorry, I asked a question, but I'm asking. Is, is this the one that we need? What? Is this the one that you're looking at, pretty much? Yeah. Oh, or you have them there, actually. So sorry, didn't mean to cut you off there. Just want to make sure I have the right stuff up. Yeah, you're all good. Okay. Um, like I, I figured it out a little bit, but I, I feel like the, the top view could still be like you could pre you could push some things back. Like the one on the the A, that could have been a whole square. That could be just square all around. So I don't know if mm -hmm. I need to just I don't know push pieces back more or you know just have them read. That I just need them to read better. They as are illiterate, top. you know, and there's um there's there's youth programs that could have could have assisted in this endeavor, and I think that's just sad. Uh, they grew up to just not be able to read. <laughs> Sorry, terrible hey, joke. Okay. I don't think there's actually a problem with them reading. You just you say they can't uh, read, just they need to read better. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> I really do not apologize <laughs> for that. Father's Day is coming up uh, at some point. <laughs> Maybe next year. I think we passed it, but Father's Day. Father's Day, Father's Day man. I'm making dad jokes. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm losing it, bro. <laughs> you wanted a crit today, and it's just yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, I would have. I would have got a, a crit yesterday. I didn't. I ended up oh, not dude, drawing okay. at all yesterday. So I figure like we're, I mean, we just get busy, and you know, you got work, and yeah, it's fine. Don't even fret. Okay. So um. So you're having trouble doing the the top down view, and trouble in in what, like I know you just wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, to read better. But besides that, but I just don't know if that's the best layout for it because it could it could be multiple different layouts mm -hmm. just with that front view. So if you have any thoughts or like, you know, you wanted you maybe thought a certain piece was farther back or something like. That mm, mm. or and then also just fuck my shit up with the front view design too. Okay. Okay, I understand what you're asking. Okay, so um, so first off, I would say that that it would be helpful for for you, uh, and it'd be helpful for me if we made these bigger. Um, I don't mean like just making them literally bigger on screen. Like I don't, I don't mean like zooming in, but I mean. Uh, make your your top downs like just as big as that mm. in terms of like how much space they're taking up on the page like it should be like that big to show off whatever um, just because 
if you have that much space to work with, you'll be getting a little bit more, um, not necessarily detailed, but I feel like you're, <coughs> goodness, I just want to stick my throat. I feel like you're cramping yourself a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's some important elements that maybe are getting lost uh, because we're not drawing it very big. Right. Okay, so that, this is here. These these trees are on the same level, right, as this. From what I'm understanding, they're like here, right? Yeah. Okay. Or they're, they're like under the black box. Oh, so I see. Black. So it's like they're like they're there. Okay. Yeah, they're there or on the, the back one, too, like this. Yeah. Not necessary for this. Um, not necessary for you because you know where you're putting things. But you could also label things like A and then put a line. Mm. Put A or something in. If it's really confusing, and I don't think this is, I just mean like if you were designing something, you could just come in and color this whole portion in. You know? Um, and then just yeah. say A. And then have another section. If it's something that's like really deceiving in terms of front view or top view or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So overall, you did you did three more of these guys. So let's take a look at this real quick. Honestly, they're all pretty cool. Like, I really do enjoy them. Each of them. I enjoy each of them. Uh, this one's further out, right? Yeah, so it's like an entry temple. That's nice. And this one is... kind of more monolithic. I actually find this one to be more boring. Not not because it's boring, but I find it more boring than the other two. Just because it's a big it's a big block, it's a big chunk, so it's a little bit less um I feel like it's right. a little less exciting. It's like one box on a box. Um between these two I actually want both. I don't know, I'll explain what I mean. Um, I think that just in terms of my own personal tastes, uh, that is kind of... Actually, I wonder if it would be better to do, to do this. Scooch it over. The only reason I'm saying that is, uh, like in 3D or... That's about that far. If you're going to build this in 3D, or later on when we're doing scenes, there's lots of cool angles and things kind of cutting <clears throat> in and out with this style. Um, this would then be something, it'd be something like, right, I think it's something like that. think it's something like that I'm just basically putting another section here and maybe mm. that's more of like a grand entrance or that is the big garden area is what I'm thinking um, like on the top of that yeah like because right here it's basically the same piece but I'm yeah. saying if, what if it's built up and extends in and then um, if we're looking like from a side view and that's why if we were going to do this, um, if we choose one more, I'd, I'd ask you to do like another side view. Maybe it's like, you know, your temple's like that. Maybe this section is like here. And then inside here is stairways going up and there's like things growing up inside that side view area. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. You could do like you're talking tiered rice paddy kind of feeling. Maybe it's like right there, and that's where the water <clears throat> comes out. So the main oh, the main um, temple area isn't dry, but like maybe it's more refined, and this is like a bigger, grander. Maybe more merchants and stuff can come through here and see the gardens and the they're met like uh, courtiers and advisors and like the prime minister or the grand chancellor or whatever, they meet people out there. Um, so like they're not disturbing the king with his really important meetings or something. Maybe if he, maybe if he greets the people, they're allowed to enter that first area and he addresses like all of the people there. Um, I'm just thinking functionality. The only other reason why 
I think I like this one more. Is um this part here. How it comes out. And then you also have a section that comes off of it to break up that pyramid. But since it's a step pyramid, what we're playing with is how many more steps can you add to add complications to the shape? It's not just the, you know, the one, two, three. It's like things are coming off, things are thicker, things are thinner. I think that's a really like this right here. That's a really, that's a really good job. Um, so I think that um, I would definitely make that change, or not okay. not change. I'd make that um, decision. Maybe is a better word for it. Um, okay, so that's fine. Moving on from there. If you want to do a better top view of this section, um, I actually don't see a problem with your top view. Um, I see the only issue being, let me copy that, and let me just get rid of these. The only issue is um, the size, in my opinion. So if we're going to do this, we'll come in and If this was going to be like your final couple of sketches or something. I'd make it like that big. And then not so much, it, not so much for me. And if you don't need it, then you don't need it. But I feel like it would be helpful to, um, to come in and like make, like have one that's saved. Like, like it, the whole thing is just left alone and then have another file or another JPEG where it's like things are labeled with, with oh, that's why I'm not showing anything with, with my sticky fingers, with um, garden and like other notes for it. Um, later on when we're designing it, something that you can do is you could take this whole section you can associate color with it if that helps. Um, that might be unnecessary, but you can come in and like make that section red, and you could write um, like section A. Again, this is just for when we're helping build scenes, and um, if I'm going to be like, bro, let's do, let's take a look at that. Um, I do actually have a list that I'll be giving you um, after we're done with this that just goes over some of the things that um, I think that we could do, I think that we need. I have it written down on pen and paper, so I'll just type it up. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So we could do, like, Garden A. Here's a couple notes for you. And this is, <clears throat> I think it's something that you could share, something you could post. But um, if I was on your team or if I was an art director, I'd be like, let me see the image. I'll understand it and then I could see your notes and I could see the planning for scenes and the planning for further development and then I could easily say just in terms of communication okay I think we need to see a I think we need to see a, a front view side view of a and maybe some of the designs for like if there's a special statue in there or you know whatever um, just being able to break it down because in this castle, it's like, okay, well, you have a temple. And I'm like, oh, in the temple? And you're like, oh, which one? And I'm like, oh, no, it's just in, in A, you have a statue. So it just becomes a little easier to communicate. Um, yeah. Not, not the biggest thing. But I think if you make, if you purposefully make more space for your top-down view, then you can get in there. And uh, I would say your top-down view should be just as detailed as this one. Mm. Um, it's like maybe 50% as detailed. Mm -hmm. And it can be as basic as you want, but if we're going to be building scenes off of it, maybe it would help to kind of go a little bit further with some of the stuff. I don't know. Yeah. But, I mean, if you want help with it, I actually don't think there's anything wrong. Um, another thing that you can do is if, again, if there's a really important section, we could take that out and do another top-down view. Keeping your brush pixels like 15 or 7 or whatever it is the same for all of your drawings, like you just do this whole page in 10 
or 15 or something, we'll keep we'll keep the amount of detail the same. Like you can only draw this much detail at this size, but then you can come in and take a piece and blow it up more. And you'll no matter what, you'll get more detail if your brush is kept to be the same size. Yeah. And then when you're done, because like you can fit more detail per pixel. When you're done, you can come in like bump it up to 35, and you can do like some line weight on stuff. If you were gonna like uh, sell it on Instagram or something, I would say to do that. Just to, just like line weight. Like, see, you actually you kind of did it naturally here. The line weight to pull that that piece out, pull out these sides is thicker than the line weight for these things. Barricades are thicker. This line is thicker. But if you go through and you draw it all on this line, you'll fit more detail on sections. Because this is like, I don't know, like let's just say that's a thousand square pixels. If you make it like this big, so like you do that with it, then this is maybe like 10,000 square pixels. So automatically you'll have 10 times more detail because you have 10 times more pixels that you can play with if your brush is kept at the same size. Right. Right. Okay. So that helps too, making things bigger on the page in comparison. And something else that you can do is, like I said, taking a section and doing it. And if it would be helpful to be like, okay, well, um, depending on how complicated it is or how important it is, you can just come in and do all this and say this is, this is level one. And then level two has the same thing, but has that section drawn in only. And then has the the extra level of detail in there instead of just a black bar. Maybe it'll be helpful to go in and figure out where pathways are, and then you could even just do a circle or something and say this is a room. This is this is the entryway, and then I could say later it's like all right, Matt, let's let's do a, a, a an image of the entryway, or let's pull up um, references and have like a couple pictures of what you think entryway is just because we're not it's not so much I guess my I guess what I'm trying to say today is it's not so much just about the drawing it's also about showing that you've thought it all out because mm -hmm. you can draw it but like can you can you communicate the idea right and paying someone to draw is super important but something that I don't think is talked about very often is you're not just an artist and I don't think when it comes to concept art I don't think that you, uh, I think you're an artist second, otherwise you'd be an illustrator, mm -hmm. right? Like you're, you're, you're a conceptualizer. So if it helps to like pull up a picture, which I don't even have a picture of something, but okay, I'm just going to grab a random one that's on my desktop right now. If it's like this dude, we're using this guy as an image and we're using this chick as an image here and we were doing characters. It's not so much like if you don't have time or if you're lazy or something, but it, I believe it is fine to paste an image, reduce the opacity on them or something, or make them gray if the color doesn't matter, and then come in with a color and say, like, if we're designing characters, I want you to look at, like, these horns, and I want you to look at the way he has these teeth. And you can just do a line and say there, <clears throat> like, on a character. And then I'm like, oh, these are the elements that you want. And before you waste the time drawing them, I'll give you my thoughts and my approval on that. And then you can plug it in. So if you're saying, oh, well, here's a room. Uh, I think it's got, and there's a picture of pillars. And there's a picture of a statue, mm -hmm. right? And then it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, let's, let's actually, let's do that. Or I could say, hey, the pictures are enough. I actually don't think that's an important section. You don't have to draw that. Like, your idea of it is, like, it's not that it's not special or not that it's not basic, but it's, eh, I mean, we, we, you can, if you can tell me what it is without having to draw it, great, because I'd rather have you spend time drawing the important things that maybe it's harder to visualize. So, we'll go on to that next section here, drawing something that's harder to visualize. Um... And that's where the scenes would come in. So if you draw the throne room, for example, on our last bit, I was saying, what about this entryway? You're basically doing the same thing right now, but with a throne. Is there know anything about this before I go into it? Anything that you want to tell me about it? Um, 
Let's see. I do have like a paragraph of. Uh, okay. <clears throat> this is just random stuff that I had mm-hmm. written. It might not matter too much. Bro, you with me? Yeah. Okay. Um. Did I? Did you get it? You sent it. Oh, oh, you sent it over to me. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought you were. Okay, reading well, it um, oh, so, so no, I'm like I'm just, no, sitting, I'm just sitting here like, okay, <laughs> where'd Matt go? Uh, so, I'm like, I'm like reading along. I'm like, well, I should have got through it. <laughs> Can I? Uh, can I read it. Yeah. So, uh, let me go ahead and just look at this here. Uh, Fallen kings were born from large Olmec stone heads, sacred garden atop the temple. Okay. Oh, statue size and where it's placed. That's cool. I like the idea. The most important kings are placed in the roots, and they have bigger ones or something. Uh, that's neat. It actually reminds me of um, Egyptian pyramids and how they handled their pharaohs. Okay. Yeah. Roots double as pillars. I just almost unplugged my headphones. Roots double as pillars. Like we're saying, they like come down and they'll like. Mm-hmm. It, it would just give them more support, I guess, because they would just. I don't know. Are you saying? Are you saying that in a way that I, that doesn't make sense? No, or I just I'm say, just saying it like out loud. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> As I'm thinking of, um, what in the fuck do you mean by that? The fuck, they're pillars. I think stuff like that. They're roots, not pillars. I think the um, <laughs> I think the challenge is um the way that this is going to be rendered. There's a lot of um, a lot of itty bitty line work and properly drawing it to be understandable. And this is why something like this, if you are presenting this um on Instagram, or like, we'll just say if you're presenting this to me, coming in, I know what you're talking about, but let's pretend that I have no idea, right? Like having this, and then drawing a line uh, with your yellow, like like that. That's what this is. And then I go, oh, okay, that's what that is. Because right now, maybe it's well, a some of those, Some of those are just like actual pillars, so I wanted right, right, right. actual pillars, and then uh, tree root around them. Yeah, well, then, then just you can like, come in here and you could draw like you could draw a pillar inside mm, and have the roots going around it and mm, then just say say something like roots grow on pillars like with words and I'm like oh okay cool all, all I'm saying is just in terms of immediately getting it and we talked about it, so I get it. And I was tossing out some of these ideas with you, so I, like, I was <laughs> I was fucking there. That seems arbitrary, but I'm just saying if you're presenting it to anyone else or you're showing it to anyone else, you don't have to sit here and have someone like... Because like, to me, it's not, I, I'll say I'm embarrassed. So for me, it's embarrassing. If I give someone the work and then I'm like, oh, but th- this has roots on it, and um, uh, and then there's the stone heads are the, uh, are the emperors, um, and then, like, they grow through the ceiling. There's a ceiling like, up there. Uh, I don't like doing that. I don't, I would like someone just to look at it and then be like, oh, I get it, I get it, I yeah. get it. And then anything that you have to explain is extra, and you don't have to worry about it. So um, we could practice the whole presentation bit um, later, but it's just something to keep in mind, especially when we're starting to delve into some of these more developed concepts um this is actually if you want to make a mood board or something mood board color board reference board some of stuff like this is pretty cool um like those are roots there too Mm. this right and with the color is just really great 
and it's got like that magical water and stuff. So like I would, I would have sometimes when I'm submitting work, um, I take, I have like these 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 drawings, and you did it there, right? Like right there, you already have it. But I have a couple more, like related things here, that maybe I didn't draw the inside of the temple for this, but like it's important to get like the vibe down. <laughs> The color is important, then you save the color. The color is not important, and then you just make it gray. Um, I like the idea of wires, bonsai tree style on the roots. That's cool. And that's what that's what those curls are, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I would think if that's super important to the throne itself, because this is all important to the throne, then I would... Um, yeah, I would I would probably have have us do like one day or one page of pattern designs because mm. that'll be that'll be a thing. Um, in terms of the actual throne placement, I think these two are great, and I actually enjoyed the head being buried or crushed or like shattered or something. Mm -hmm. um, instead of it just being a whole head, I imagine yeah, that it's yeah. like sunk or been grown over, and it's the kind yeah. of thing where where like you they, they don't they don't cut back the roots. Like, are you fucking kidding me? If it's gonna grow over the head, it's gonna grow over the head. Like that's what that's what the gods will. <laughs> Can you trim off my father's? No, it's what the gods demand. The tree speaks <laughs> for us all. Oh, okay. Forgot that's where we were. Um. <laughs> I think, again, just personal preference, this Western throne I find to be more lame than this one because of the unevenness. That is really fun. As soon as you start doing a different shape, it's cool. Um, I do, however, like that this one has like roots kind of pushing into the shape. And I think that like if the if you have the the, the roots or whatever, and you have the throne, the guy sits in it. Just crown. Um, it would actually be cool if the tree is like coming out, so he's like sunken in a little bit. I imagine in a scene where if that if that is a scene, what I just described, you could punch in and do like this because he's sunken into the tree roots. And then maybe, like, just his knees and his hands are sticking out. Oh, uh, that's right? cool. Like, and it's like it's something like like that. Well, just whatever the way, maybe the light is coming um, down, and he's just in the dark. And then you know, it's that whole thing in a movie where he like leans out, and then suddenly he's all lit up from above. He's just like, I am the king. Yes. But whatever. Um, so I'm just I, I'm always thinking like a head. Um, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to forgive that. But the idea of the tree growing around him is cool. Um the idea of a singular staircase, uh, maybe is better than a double. Is this like a, is this like a walkway for the king? Yeah. Okay. I actually like that. Um in fact that is cool enough that I would say it's better to just have no stairs. No stairs, or maybe there were stairs or something, and like the tree roots have grown over everything. And maybe it's important enough, like um, Chinese and some Western kings and queens, they have like smaller dioceses built there, and maybe the crown prince, and maybe the, the queen regent sits there. Mm. And then you have, like, you know, the Minister of Finance and, like, the Chief Concubine are all gathered around the base of the tree. And then, like, you had it here, it's just spread out. But um, maybe the king has, like, up here, and you could do these, like, the shapes and stuff. But behind it maybe is like a curtain of roots. 
and I would look up uh, as a reference, I would say maybe um, hopefully I don't get like actual I want real I don't want I don't want like literally this stuff um, what if I did Ivy um gosh well i'm sure you probably know what i'm talking about because it's like the roots like stuff like that but it could mm -hmm. be flowers or it could be mushrooms or it could be like whatever is cool for your king um kind of like that and maybe they have when court is in session or something the king walks out and there's like a thing that holds them open. And it's like, you know, you have an attendant, a palace attendant here with their head bowed or something, or maybe they're they're kneeling while the king is in session. And he like comes out and goes in through there and then they close it when he's gone and it just becomes the, the vines and the ivy again. But it's like a backdrop to all like this. Yeah. This is all kind of coming through or even pokes through it. Um, Something in a lot of Chinese um, movies and emperors' uh, rooms and stuff, it'll be like this. This is a side view. This is a dividing wall. Oops. Got a little, got a little too dividing there. Um, and over here, it's like the throne room, and he's got a dais, and there's like seats, and his seat's up here, and then people are like, whatever. And there's usually a... Um, there's usually a, an actual dais that's everything is raised up on like a platform and it's the type of thing where if someone's standing up to address him his seating is like higher or at their eye level then what i've seen is you have his like private chambers and it comes around and he has literally like another type of chair a different type of throne and in here it's the same fucking thing but it's like private and someone can like his son can come up and like play checkers with him and they can have a conversation. But in here he has to be like down here and deferential. And here he's dad and here he's the emperor. So the whole curtain thing, like maybe you just flip this whole scene around and you have a, a place where the roots have grown through in a similar way. There's no stone head. Um, and he just has like a seating room, depending on how important you want to make the emperor. Um, and then you know that this way, this is out, and this is in. Something like that. It's interesting. Um, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. You know, just just, dif just different uh, places. And I'm putting this on the list of things that you can do with it, because um, I think this throne room is really important. Um, Reference-wise, do you have anything for symbols or anything for pots? I know you have some flowers like that. That's a good flower. Uh. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't really look up too much too much to that. I should okay. check out some pot. Um, that was just basically from the old uh, the old reference in the drawing that you yeah, so I for. Just went through real quick and just kind of. Are you going to use that scene because it's already a perspective, or are you going to change it? Which one? The throne room area that you were doing before. Oh, um, I mean, I probably would like to. Uh, Throw it in perspective, just because it looks good. But, um, I wasn't, yeah, I didn't have any plans on it right um, now. I think what we should keep in mind, uh, or not what we should keep in mind, but <clears throat> we should set up a one, two, three for your design language. What's the most important thing to this culture? Um, you could say stone faces, you could say plants, and you could say water. Right, like, and I'm, you could change it. You could do something else. I'm just saying that is a, an example. Um, if you're going to to use that, then in every single scene, every single design, not maybe not every single, you should at least have two out of three. Mm -hmm. So here you have faces and plants. Uh, one way to add water is maybe the roots are are drip. Oh, maybe the roots are are like dripping. Yeah. Right, and it's like constantly like a gentle rain or a drip 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 maybe they land on the stone face and it's like he's always like looks like he's crying 
And it's the kind of thing where the stone, maybe it's not dirty, and again, this is more rendering than anything else, but maybe he's kind of grimy, or he's dusty, or what ends up happening is where the water falls, there's like moss growing. And then that water trickles down the steps, and maybe it fills like bowls. See, I'm just saying, like, I'm I'm giving an idea right now. Yeah. My idea is just I'm saying you need to have something that involves water in here. Maybe it fills these bowls, and then it overflows, you know, and then comes down some more. And maybe there's like channels cut, so it's it can easily flow out without splashing all over the throne room. And then you can have um, little bridges over the gaps so no one's, like, sticking their nasty fucking feet in it. You know, this is sa this is sacred shit, bro. But it's all about, like, this watery kind of stuff. Um, maybe it's in some curving design, you know, whatever whatever it is. But maybe, like, during ceremony, you could have someone come up and they, like, touch the water and splash it on someone's face. Oh, thank you for your, your benediction, your grace. And he's just like, oh, yes, praise you. And they're just splashing, like, some water, dripping all over him. And it's the chief minister. He's got a fancy hat and a staff. So I'm saying it just let, let, the, let, the design, um, let the design parameters guide your choices. So we're saying, oh, well, we're going to have water in here, or, oh, we're going to have a king, and we're going to have a minister, or whatever the fuck. If that's a choice that you make, then on that list, it'll be king, minister, sacred bowl. And whether or not these have to be drawn is up to you. If we go, um, I believe you sent it to me on Discord. Uh, if we go up here to... This. This is. I'm not saying to use this. I'm saying, if we were, maybe, for the reservoir that the water falls into down there, mm. uh, here, um, maybe, you just use this. <clears throat> Sometimes you can draw something new, and I would say a majority of the work should be something that you've drawn. But maybe this is enough of the idea, and you're like, literally, no, it's just that. Like, there is this right here. I don't want anything else. Uh, and it's new enough in terms of, like, I've never, I've never fucking seen that. And, you know, like, we both <clears throat> look at things all the fucking time. So if we've never seen that, it's not that no one's ever seen it. It's just like, wow, okay, that's pretty unique in terms of a shape. And, um, okay, that's fine though. I think it, I think you don't have to draw it. You draw it when you put it in a scene, but you don't have to design it new. Mm. The king, if you're looking at um, reference ideas for a king or something like that, and we say something like, um, I, I'm okay, you know what? We chose Jap. I'm gonna start looking at Japanese stuff. Japanese imperial robe. Like, let's just look up this, and you find... God, man, that's just boring. I'm sorry, just this is a little boring for me. Sorry, Japan. What happened? This guy feels so much more, I don't know, like, imperial. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. And look at the, even the dolls are more fancy. But let's just say we take that, and and then you put it there, and you're like, no, nah, I mean, literally, that is my emperor. <laughs> but this is my emperor, and he has the same clothing, everything. But what's special about him is this. So then we take this out. And then you do a couple heads that have different styles of, like, crowns or whatever. That's what's special. So we design that. And then when you're building a scene, you just use the references that you have. 
and you do the new heads. Because if you submit this to me, I'm saying, oh, okay, he's just literally that, and these are the ideas that you have. Great. That works for me. Like, you could even just come in and select this whole thing and put it over there and say he's an emperor, but he's got, like, what the queen wears. And then you could tell me, oh, and the patterns are more Aztec, and they look like... Like this, and it just it just repeats, and then you can just copy and paste, copy and paste to build like a little pattern block. That's like it's it's good enough, um, but it'll help when you're building out the rest of these scenes. Like, I guess what I'm saying is something that we've run into before is you don't have to design everything. You don't have to think of something new for everything. You don't have to draw everything, but everything needs to be thought of. I don't yeah. need to think of something new, but you need to have all your pieces in place. Because then when it comes time to actually draw that scene, like fully rendered, you won't, ha you won't be hitting hiccups. Right. Um, I'm not sure how helpful that is. What do we want to do after this point? I guess I'll submit that list to you and we could break it down. Um, is, this, is this helpful? What else do we have that, that can help you with, with this? Mm, no, I'm, I'm, it's pretty. It's pretty helpful. I'm just gonna have to use more of those reference pictures. I think. I think just getting the whole idea, getting all my ideas onto paper, not necessarily drawing it out, is exactly. uh, the, exactly. the hardest part for me. So um, this is this is perfect. I th yeah, I think that's exact. That's you said it better than I was trying to. I think it's really important to to have what if you could draw all of this matt like if you could sit here and this week you drew everything you drew an entire emperor's robe uh wardrobe uh you drew all of these water collectors all of these thrones and it's like 40 or 50 drawings and it's like this is literally everything here i'd be like wow okay that's fucking great perfect but that is not how you and i operate i don't think that's how regular people operate but i think it's more important for you to have a page that says this is everything here pictures, words, drawings, the whole shebang because we're going to move on to that next stage and maybe you'll be drawing the emperor and then you can go back to that first page if you will and replace him with the one that you drew. Mm -hmm. Like when we get to that point. But it's better to have it all collected because then we can look at it as a whole and say, "Ah, oh, you know what we're missing? We actually don't have any pillows or something. We don't have the right kind of pillow. Let's get a pillow reference because you're going to be drawing one of those or something." And then I also think it's not easier. I think easier is the wrong term. But I find it easier to have kind of like all of my ideas and notes collected. Uh, and I keep saying, oh, if you're showing someone else, if you're showing someone else. But it's like um, taking notes sometimes and you, you never read your notes. But the fact that you took them really grilled it into your head. Right. Yeah. That's how I work. So I know that if I write it down and I say garden, top of the temple, right here, then even though I will know where that is, but now I'm thinking about that when I'm drawing and I'm like, oh, you know what? I actually put it here. Maybe it's better over on this side or something. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll submit that list. Is there anything that you're like just jonesing for? You're like, wow, you know what? The, 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 the Imperial Scepter. <laughs> like the staff that he that that guy's gonna hold. That's the shit that I need to have drawn. Oh uh, no, I actually think the the throne room was my little, little kind of guilty pleasure. Yeah, uh, that's good though. Uh, just to, to kind of do because uh, I didn't want to obviously I want to do it in the right kind of order of you know we're getting the you know the temple built and then I want to want that to be making sense to me before mm -hmm. you know jumping to the next thing and confusing myself. Uh, yeah, just doing like little doodles here and there of other stuff is kind of I mean that helped me get through my top views I'm like okay I'll do a top view and then I'll doodle some some photo bash roots after which has helped me get through it but uh, so I'll tell you I'll suggest this then we have to we have two different pathways it does not matter which one we do first it's completely up to you one you end up doing um, that that top garden entry garden that I was talking about because you talked about a rice paddy garden thing that, that you wanted before. Um, you do that section or you do the throne room. Uh, it doesn't matter what you choose. We, we do one of those. And then the two forks in the road that we have is after making, after choosing which one we want to do, we can do a top view, side view, 
detail out some of the throne room or the garden or the other side of it is we back away from doing kind of the more detailed drawings or detailed layouts and i say detailed not because of the amount of drawing that's going into it but because we're zooming in uh, and instead we do like scene shots of the temple complex now that you kind of have the front view top view laid out we can turn it and put a camera angle for the front of the temple start drawing it and then figure out what we need on the outside uh, which would be you said the throne room though yeah i do i do like the throne room so if we're going to do the throne room my suggestion to you um we're going we're not going to spend a shit ton of time here uh, I'm not, we're going to spend as much time on the throne room as you want. We're not going to spend a shit ton of time on this step that I'm going to explain. So I would do a, um, a series of top views and front views. You just did a couple front view sketches. Mm -hmm. I want the same thing, but from the top with different choices for where the throne is, what type of throne it is, where the roots are. And you can go as basic as squares and just say... Um, this is the throne, and then you can do like a platform and like walkways, right? And you could say there's like pillars here. I want it to be like that. And then you could do another option and maybe it's a different type of shape, style. And you could say, oh, the throne, the, the head is actually, the head is like this. And the throne is actually built like off of his ear. And there's the platform. And that's the throne. And the throne is right here. And instead of it being a throne, it's kind of more of like a bed. So he can sit. And he can also lounge in it. And ask for, for, uh, for grapes. And then the little grape attendant's like, oh shit! And they have to run over there really fast. With, with like a bunch of grapes right here. Hold on, my lord! Um, but that, I mean, that's an idea for a scene in and of itself, but I'm saying playing with where things are playing with where they are in space. Um, and then doing like you just had, you can be as detailed or as not detailed as you want. And I think one problem is when you get detailed, you start getting locked into an image. I think it's important mm -hmm. to like do roots or something and say, and then the throne is actually kind of more like, like this. And then the, the king can lay on it and he, inside the throne room you could do like one point perspective if that helps here's a pillar here's a pillar um maybe behind the king is like the draped vines and then you can like come in and maybe draw those a little bit but start kind of not necessarily scenes so maybe i shouldn't be like drawing the kings not to confuse anyone um but like where where things are maybe there's like another head over there doing this just like a day's worth or two days worth and then what we can do wow that is the brush that's not the eraser um what we can do is then come in and say oh like what i was doing um fuck all the way down there whoops oh, lordy what i was doing here where i was like oh you know what i actually like this one and i think it should be grown over and then we can make those choices and then what we'll end up doing is saying, okay, Matt, inside your throne room, like I was telling you um, last week, in, if this is your throne room and here's the thing, I would like a shot that is looking this way. And I want all of this in the, the screen. Or I want a shot looking this way and I want all of this. Right? Mm -hmm. We can start playing with, with that after we, um, after we have this top view, side view. Because what, what my, my hope is, um, what I've seen in some of the troubles that we've had in this, in this process, is um, we both, for sure, but we get carried away. And I'm like, well, you have this really cool throne room to draw. Now you're actually going to have it all kind of planned out a little better. Um, before you were telling me when you were drawing the city, one of the issues was it just started sprawling and becoming all these things, and you know, which is great, but... Well, what we're doing is we're establishing parameters and control and we're saying, okay, you have this really cool throne room. Now draw it from this view and we need to see, 
um, the throne, the king, and an attendant. Draw it from this view. Draw it from this view. And what we're going to end up running into is as you're drawing it, you're like, ah, fuck, I don't know what's going on with the pillars. That's fine. Move on to the next view. Or draw what you can. And we'll run into those pillars and be like, well, is it fixed with a picture? Can you just use a design that already exists in the world, or do you need to design your own? Then we would design our own, and once it's designed, put it into the scene. That's kind of the plan that I have right now of how, yeah. how we should try to get this to work. Yeah, for sure. So we're just gonna we're gonna lay it out, lay out our floor plan, and if it helps you to block out things after we've laid it out, if it helps you to take a day to block it out in 3D, in terms of having like a cube for the throne, um, mm -hmm. the platform built, the pillars built, and then adjusting the camera angle and drawing it off of that, if that helps you visualize it, then that's what we're gonna do. If you don't need to do that, and you're just gonna drop it into perspective, then we could just do that too. It's gonna come down with what you're comfortable with. Yeah, I might want to get into 3D, uh, do some sketch up. To... It, it can be as simple or as um, as simply drawn or as detailed as you'd like. I honestly think just cubes. Um, in terms of simplicity, like just yeah. a dais, just a, just a cube for the throne, and then when we start drawing the throne out, um, then you start actually like designing the throne and you draw it over the top of the cube in that perspective. Right. Yeah. So I'm sure you get that. But yeah, you, if you were saying before that you wanted to get a little 3D in there, and uh, in this part, in this in this pipeline, if you will, um, I'm trying to a lot for that. And you could do the same thing with the temple structure itself. A couple boxes placed on top of each other, turn the camera, place it in a scene, and we could draw the exterior later too. Mm. Or the feeling of the exterior, the shape of the exterior. Um, and then once once we get to the point where we need to draw a couple characters, then we can get to the character design part of it. And just so up those like, guys in the scene. This is something like... Um, this is like a cyclical process like the end goal you were saying is to do the scenes so we're going to try to get some cool scene ideas out there like this throne like what you have right now the one on the right actually i think is great that's a really great scene we're going to get some of these cool ideas out there and it's like well matt what do we need to make this a scene well we need a throne okay let's work on a throne well now that we've done the throne mm, we need stone heads let's work on a couple stone heads and keep bringing things back and plopping them into this cool scene that we that we figured out yeah you always know like you always have an end goal you always see what you're working for it's great for you when you're posting work in progress pictures um it's great showing like before and after like this is my this is my whole process first we designed this and then i came back figured out what we needed and designed that and at the end my hope is that we'll have an entire complex area that you can go as deep or as not deep with it as you want but at the end, you'll have a, a portfolio. Yeah, dude, that's the uh, goal. Excuse me, oh okay. god, they're going down. Help! <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, you got you got a, a portfolio in the terms of a project. And like I was saying before, we've played enough games, we've watched enough movies. Imagine um, Star Wars Coruscant or Star Wars Naboo Throne Room, Naboo Plaza, like. That's all you have to. That's all that you have to do right now. We don't need like the world is great and it's rich, and I want to explore it more. But either you do a, um, a hundred ones or you do one hundred. And right now we're trying to focus on one to a hundred percent. Wait, it's what? <laughs> so instead of doing like forty different locations on the planet and like one sketch oh. of a monster and one sketch oh, right, of an right, eye, right. Gotcha, we're gotcha. trying to do everything that's in one location, one hundred percent complete. So that we yeah. know it. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's the goal. That's, right, the, that's the goal. Yeah. So that's it. I'm I'd good. Rather, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I'm good right now. And I'm sorry I cut you off. I'm. Sh you were saying you'd rather you'd rather do that. Yeah, I forget. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I'm well, not about 100 percent today, so sorry for not no, uh, being. I'm I'm right there with you. It's an odd but, day. Yeah, it's strange, and it's some fucking cooking too. I'm just Ooh. sweating my ass off. 
It, here it rained last night. Where? Here. It rained here last night. Is that, is that like a thing? It's I guess it's California. <sighs> yeah, in June? Yeah, just a little rain. Cloudy weather and rain in June. <laughs> No, anyway, it was like fucking super hot, and then it rained, and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Then it got um, muggy and muggy. Yeah, and I, well, I took a walk today because it's been cool all day. I'm like, well, I'll take a walk. Go outside, and immediately, like, it became so bright and just hot, and I was like, fuck, dude, I'm dying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so I'm saying I'm good with this. Let's move on to the next stage. Um, the three things to keep in mind: make your top view as big as your front view. So it's just as detailed. You can do more than one. Like you can do sketches through your top view, sketches through your front view. Here, what we did here, this is enough that you used a picture to build off of. Perfect, you used a picture to build off of. I don't know how long you spent here, but I don't want you spending a long time. So if it yeah, comes yeah. out that it's just a square, and then yeah, you, right, and you and you and you label this as face, right, or something that that works for me. And then if, if you're doing all of those and you do like, I don't know, three, four, five, and you settle on one, you're like, you know what, this one's really great, and you want to spend a little more time on it, go for it. Um, but I don't want these to be, we're not designing scenes, we're not sketching scenes, just the layout of the room. Word. Okay, great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this recording here. Um, you're good, right, before I end it? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm going to stop.